carrots. I have always intentionally grown carrots. I have always intentionally hoped to grow carrots. Hey you, welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we're here in Gardening Zone 6B in New England. Come harvest with me. Wait, but first let me show you the goth garden. I am so thrilled about how this is coming out. Wait. Before we check out the goth garden, I have got to show you these rose hips. There are so many. The branches are bending under all this fruit. This is amazing. They won't be ready until they are very, very red. So probably around October slash November, I'll come in and collect these. My goth garden is finally starting to look a little gothy. Exhibit A, weeping sunflower. Oh, emo girl of the north. The red sunflowers are finally coming into bloom. These are beautiful to behold from the kitchen window, I swear. Uh, hopefully some of them will turn around. I've got buds that do face this direction. Oh, here's one, here's one. Hi, friend. You can see the corn is starting to tassel. Hello. Silks. We've got our first silks on our strawberry popcorn. Oh, I'm so happy. This is super exciting. And then, of course, the mustard. I've been harvesting greens when I can and eating them, but really, it mostly got destroyed by loopers. What I'm going to do is just collect the seeds at the end of the season, and we can use those culinarily. I'm super pleased with the way that this goth garden turned out. So with any luck, uh, the yellow ones will have finished blooming by the time we've got all of the brown and gold ones opening up. I'm really looking forward to that. All is going according to plan. What do you think of this Cosmo? She just planted herself right there in with the patchouli. She's shading the patchouli out just enough that the patchouli is now thriving. Win, win. But what I really want to talk about are these carrots. I think it's time to harvest them. I've gotten in here and felt some of these guys up and I think we have, I think we have some carrots that are ready to pull. Historically, I do not have a great track record with carrots. I haven't even ever accidentally grown carrots. I have always intentionally grown carrots. I have always intentionally hoped to grow carrots. I have tried the board thing. I have tried the burlap bag thing. I have created a lot of mold. So imagine my delight and surprise when I came upon this baby growing all on its own. This is interesting. What's going on? Oh, oh, whoa. Oh my. <laughs> this is, um, that's some carrot. <laughs> So I dubbed that carrot an omen. The omen carrot. <laughs> Clarity is not always my strongest point. So let me explain. The peanut bucket is, I, I've had a host of things in that and we still call it the peanut bucket. I planted barley in them last year. That was super fun. Um, and it's held a variety of really, really cool volunteer stuff over the years. In fact, I tried to plant carrots in the peanut bucket a couple of times, which is probably how we got the omen carrot. It was a volunteer. I was super excited to see it. Like as soon as it started getting like a little bit warm, there were feathery carrot tops in the ground and it inspired me to put the rest of them in. Hence, it is the omen carrot, the carrot that came first, the carrot that said, hey, plant here. The carrot that took one for the team. Oh, look at you. Hello. It's an actual full-size carrot. Not a huge one. Not in, not by any means. Um, but that's a, that is a respectable carrot. This one doesn't feel very big. I'm going to leave it. This one. This one feels pretty good. All right. Let's see, let's see. Here we go. It's pretty good. Oh, 
Okay, okay. It had this one had crowned, um, but it had more to say above the surface than really below the surface. It's okay. That's okay. Let's keep going. Nice big yellow one. Oh, it was two carrots. They were sharing the same green space. Nice. I don't know if this will get any bigger, but I'm going to put it back in and we'll wait and see. It looks like it just got shaded out or it was a double sewn by accident. This one's also real small. Look at this. So cute. I thought I had planted a row of them, but I guess I only planted a few. I love this. All right. So I think this front row is the rainbow color blend. I'm betting this is a Danvers half long. Oh, here's another one of them. Hey, Josie Bean. Everything else that I felt up in here including some stuff that looks really big at the surface. Um, it's still very, very small, very, very small carrot here. So I'm leaving the rest of these, including the one that I pulled up and put back in with hopeful, hopeful intentions. And we're going to give these another few weeks of enjoying the sunshine and then we'll return to them. Raina, can I show you my bountiful carrot harvest? Of course. Look what wow. I've got. What do you think of this guy? That looks great. That's that's an interesting one. He's got legs. This was the <laughs> omen carrot. I love it. <laughs> it's so good. And then, okay, so Alan got Alan got black nebula carrots. Nice. Got them. They look good. And I think, yeah, the kids got, the nibblings got the uh, multicolored carnival carrots. <laughs> and I got my, I got two French Parisian. <laughs> They're so round. Round carrots. I love them. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pressure can a quart of Ooh, carrots. What do you cool. think? Sounds good to me. One quart of carrots. Be very good. I'm in. Yes. All right. Awesome. I'm gonna go harvest some beans. Have fun. Okay. <laughs> but wait, let me show you these elderberries. Yeah. They're plumping up, they're coming in. I believe you, we don't harvest these until like September, October-ish. Okay. So I'm just thrilled to see them developing. Oh. Wait, you'll notice some bolt went on here. I have come through and weeded. I made a really big mess. I know it barely looks like I weeded, right? It's because we had a ton, a ton of rain. Side quest. I have got to get me a wheelbarrow and get this stuff out of here. Um, this is, <laughs> if you know me, this tracks. Well, sister, look, we've got these beautiful beans coming in. So lovely. These, I think, are the first of the Kentucky Wonder or the Blue Lake Pole Beans. I am unclear, but we'll start harvesting those today. Wait. Right after we deal with the Dragon Tongue Pole Beans. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know I said this thing. Thank you. This year about not letting the beans get too long. Thank you. Uh, before harvesting them and apparently that's not what's happening. I'm gonna compensate when I can them by cutting them um, into thirds probably. Right, look at the size of this. I'm picking my way through squash at my feet here, trying desperately not to step on any of them. Oh, I see you hiding in there. There's another one coming in way in that back corner. Any other cool surprises? So I was just addressing these bean plants and uh, meditating a little bit on the abundance. Thank you. When I happen to look down 
and I see this fella. Hello, zucchini. She's a little scuffed out, but I think she'll still be really good eating. I pulled out some of the lesser zucchini that were in here and just laid them down um, in favor of giving the plants something better to put their energy into. And it looks like, looks like we've got one. Thank you. I'm watching my purple Brussels sprouts come in and it is super exciting. Look at those balls. Oh, sister, we got peppers. Let's see. I was starting to think perhaps these were serranos, but no, I think they are actually jalapenos. Let's see. Come on, more. Thank you. I'll give you a couple of days. There are a few here too. Hello. Thank you. I spy with my little eye something that begins with A. Looks like the acorn squash is happening. And hey, that's our first eggplant. Tomatillos are starting to hang low, which is great. It means fruit is ripening and starting to fill out these beautiful bubbles. Generally, I'm not harvesting these until mid-September. So we're gonna let them keep going. Mm. I don't think there is anything quite so fine as the green bean that I just picked. The crisp crunch I'm literally tasting the land I'm standing on. How cool is that? Hello, friend. The volunteer spoon tomatoes are coming in and starting to ripen. Another day or two, we've got some snacks. I've definitely lost all my onions. I, no, I take it back, I found four. But oh, what I've gained in current tomatoes. Corn's not doing terribly. I must have planted a dwarf variety. That's my best guess. So we'll see how they do. And you know, I mean, we'll always have tomatillos. I'm gonna leave this guy a few more days. Let him get plump. And there's, I saw one, yep, there it is. <laughs> Here's one that I was gonna bring in. Thank you. And I see another one right down in here. Here we go, thank you. Let's us go check out the tomatoes on the side. Come on. I need you to know before I show that the tomatoes have gone through quite a trim. Uh, we had some diseased stuff and some stuff that was gross and a big lack of airflow. So I went through and oh my goodness, I was on the phone with Bryna on Saturday and I was just like, I have had enough and I know where the clippers are and just went to town. So, okay, are you ready? Don't be shocked, don't be shocked. This is what it looks like now. So I know the last time you saw it, it was bushy and like all the way out to there. And yeah, we've, we've done some training back. I pulled some stuff that was on the ground up into the trellising and I am so much happier about it. By pruning everything back so tightly and so deliberately and letting all this air in is letting all this fruit ripen. Thank you. That was just not getting the sun before. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Well, that one might scab over. Let me leave it on the vine. Here's one. Thank you. Look at this pretty one. Sister, we have so many golden cherries. Thank you. I'm not sure what variety these are. One of the remaining tags says Galena's and I'm willing to believe it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I've had some people ask me why I 
compost immediately stuff that, like this tomato, which is in terrible shape, right? I'm gonna let that just compost down. There's another one. I've come to think of it more or less as sowing next year's volunteers. Whatever comes up out of here is gonna be the sturdiest of the bunch and it will have wintered here and it will know when to come up. Overwhelmingly, I'm just really, really pleased with how well the haircut took off. You can see my indeterminates all the way up there at the top, making their way for bluer skies. So we have harvested. I'm super thrilled about that. Here's our big basket. So many very good things in here. Primarily it's beans. Um, I'm really good at growing beans apparently. Might be because beans are easy. They just don't leave me up at night wringing my hands. The rattlesnake pole beans, these guys, these with the beautiful purple markings. Beans came in way before the regular green beans that I've got in here. And the pinto beans haven't even started blossoming yet. So this is like, this is spectacular. I get to see these things blossom and fruit for weeks. It's one of my favorites. We got a few really nice tomatoes. I brought them in early. We've got a nice blush on this side. If I put them in the window with this side facing out, it'll even out pretty well. And that'll ripen beautifully in the window. Um, and a lot of these really cool cherry tomatoes. Let's see if I can get you a good view of this. It's these may or may not be galenas. Um, they may be sunrise bumblebee. Uh, they could be a lot of things. I lose tags. That's just a thing I do. And really, truth is I'm a dirty human, like everybody else. And I lose stuff and I forget things. And were I to apply a penalty to myself every time I made a mistake or lost a tag, man, I'd be unhappy lets us not forget about self-alienation. Capitalism does that to us, you all. At the end of the day, I either will take note of it and know it and plant it again on purpose, or there's also a really good chance that I just plant it by accident. <laughs> Carrots, y'all. I can't express to you just how excited I am about these carrots. I'd like to thank my friends down at the farm store. I just feel like the luckiest girl in the world. So that's August for us here in the Commonwealth. This is one of those calm periods when there's really just not a whole lot going on. Over the next few weeks, I'll be canning beans. I may take a stab at some jam. We should have eggplant soon and we've got cucumbers coming in so we're going to be pickling as well thank you so much for hanging out with me today while i went through the garden and found some really cool surprises i will catch you up soon take care i mean and he doesn't like to go through a seed cap Blah.